everyone, welcome to another video. Just a follow-on video to the latest about the This Morning Show appearance. Thought I'd respond to a couple of articles. There's been about over a dozen um, articles from tabloids and no real credible newspapers have made an article about this because they're just not sensationalized tabloid nonsense. But uh, I'm no stranger to uh, the tabloids. I, uh, about two years ago, had multiple articles written about me for this exactly the same thing here for being rude and interrupting in debate and saying outrageous things like dairy farmers rape cows. And, you know, I've had over over 100 articles written by new UK um, tabloids. They've tried ringing my family in Australia before the paparazzi. Just they did a full investigation on all of my social media platforms, brought up all my some of the most extreme things I've ever said. And, you know, I'm, we know each other quite well. I thought I would uh, grab the Daily Fail uh, and the Sun's article here and uh, just read through and see exactly how bad the publicity was from me interrupting the poor hunter who goes out and murders deer, you know, and promotes it in all of her books. You know, the poor victim hunter here, the victim of interrupting. Let's just see how bad the media was. Now, a lot of people don't understand, like, how social change works, uh, the activists are rarely liked. <laughs> Hate to break it to you, <laughs> but when there's, you know, Malcolm X, when there's, you know, Martin Luther King, when there's, you know, suffragettes smashing windows, and when there's people fighting for justice, and, you know, they're the minority, and there's, they're rarely liked, okay? I don't have to be liked. What I have to be saying is true. Okay, now that's it. Does every vegan who gets on this morning create media? No. Did I? Yes. Was the overall effect of it bad? I don't know. Are we gonna take the Daily Mail here? If vegan activist is branded rude and aggressive as he interrupts meat-eating Hunter on this morning and asks why she doesn't shoot her dogs in the head. Now, the Daily Mail have done an article on me. They've done like a little bio spreadsheet here on me before. Here we go, this is from last year. Peaceful vegan activist Joey Carbstrong took on Jeremy Vine over ham sandwich, compared dairy farmers to Hitler and told them to kill themselves. Okay, so what they did here, they made a little bio of me. Who is militant vegan Joey Carbstrong? Joey Carbstrong's real name is Joey Armstrong. You know, and then they go into my, my um, uh, organized crime gangs, dealing drugs, my the drugs, all of that. So basically this is just a little discrediting, just a little, little bio to discredit me because of my past, just poisoning the well here. And then they did a little love, um, we love the hunter who, the, the hunter from Yorkshire who um, hunts all of their own meat for her family. Um, so they've done an article on her too. So of course they're gonna be on Team Meat, the Daily Fail. So here we go, let's just see how bad this article actually is. This morning sh viewers, have declared they've been put off going vegan after an activist was branded rude and aggressive during a debate with a meat eater. Now, who said? Did you run a study on that? Or did you grab, did you screen grab a couple of Twitter comments? Now for me, 90% of the comments have been positive. Now 10% have been like, oh, you made vegans look bad and oh, you were too rude and you interrupted and I prefer Earthling Ed, and you're way too aggressive for the movement, and oh, you didn't let her speak, and but for the most part, it's been, hey, you, you know, she's a hunting animal abusing uh, murderer, you did well to interrupt in seven minutes, and good, you got your points out, bang, a lot of people are on, um, all are on my side. Joey, Carb, um, Joey Armstrong, originally from Adelaide, they usually call me Joey Carbstrong, so I don't know, this is a little ploy not to get people onto my social media to get the real truth. Um, Appeared on the show along alongside Rachel Carey, a proud meat eater, proud animal abuser, proud animal murderer from Yorkshire who hunts and kills her own food. She murders animals. To debate whether or not there's too much pressure on people to adopt veganuary. Pressure? No one's holding a gun to your head like you hold the gun to the head of the deer. Uh, during the heated segment, Joey, who has been vegan for six years, hit back at Rachel when she claimed that trying to go vegetarian had a negative impact on her health. Exactly. He insisted that veganism is a healthy choice Well, plant-based diets of vegan diets uh, that are well-planned, are healthy for all stages of life. And that's not my opinion. That's, why didn't they cite the research or the position paper that I cited on the show from the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics? 
Um, he went on to question why, why Rachel shoots other animals, but not her three dogs. How can you claim to be an animal lover if you shoot deer in the head? Which is a valid point. She was pretty stumped by that. However, when Rachel disagreed by stay, saying there should be a balance and that she, people shouldn't be pressured into changing their diets, animals shouldn't be pressured by your rifle either. Um, Joey refused to sit back and listen to, to the much, much to the annoyance of viewers watching the debate at home. Of course, it's gonna annoy viewers. They wanna hear this lady justify their meat eating habits to them, don't they? Oh, this lady's about to tell us why, why I can still have my bacon sarni. This lady's about to tell us why vegans are wrong and I don't have to, you know, act in a moral way. Of course, they, they, she holds a popular view. She holds the popular view. Had a million people watching live. You think those are a million vegans? I would say there's 990,000 people who are meat eaters, okay? Of course, the majority of the comments are gonna be, oh wow, he's forcing his beliefs, I heard it all before. Does that necessarily mean that was bad activism? They all got the message, don't you worry. If you wanna encourage people to adopt a vegan diet, then educate them how great the diet is and what you can eat, rather than shouting at people because they like meat and dairy, hashtag this morning, wrote one person. Wow, you keep teaching me how to be an activist while you sit there and eat murdered animal bodies? Thanks for the advice. How about you stop being cruel and abusive to animals through your diet? Of course you want to tell me how to advocate. You don't want me making you feel uncomfortable and feel accountable for the animal's deaths on your plate, do you? You don't want to be accountable for that. I'm going to make you feel accountable and that's going to feel uncomfortable. Not sorry. Um, so here we go. They've screen capped a bunch of anti-vegan comments. Well, that's not hard. That's not hard to screen cap a bunch of comments that support your shitty article, is it? Oh, uh, if you want to encourage people to adopt a vegan diet, then educate them about how great the diet is. No, I'm gonna tell you that you're causing animal abuse and animal cruelty and gas chambering pigs. That's why you should be vegan, okay? The right reason. Yeah, the diet's great, I talked about that too. Yeah, yeah, that's great, it's not a diet. Stop abusing animals through your diet. That's what you don't want to hear, and that you'd rather hear me go, oh, that's okay, you're not, but the, the diet's great. Do, 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 do. Not me, not me. Um, wow, this vegan isn't helping the vegan message, making me want a burger even more, if I'm honest. Well, Jackie Taylor, you were gonna eat a burger anyway. You weren't gonna go, go vegan. So don't blame me, okay? Don't blame me. Now, you, this is what people do. They blame the vegan for not acting in a moral way. Well, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna continue to abuse and kill and torture animals through my burger because this vegan was rude. Absolute nonsense. Oh, like I say, I say I'm an activist for child abuse, anti-child abuse. I, I don't want people abusing children. Is a pedophile gonna use the excuse that anti-child abuse activist was rude to me, therefore it justifies me molesting and killing kids? Don't be f***ing ridiculous. You weren't gonna go vegan anyway, Jackie. We all know that. Um, this guy isn't a good advert for vegans at all. I'm not trying to be an advert for vegans, okay? I'm trying to hold you accountable for the animals that you abuse through your diet, okay? I'm trying to hold this hunter accountable for shooting deer. I'm trying to defend animals, okay? I'm not trying to be an advertisement for you. I'm not singing and dancing for you on, hey, try the vegan diet, hey, try the vegan diet. No, I'm gonna say, hey, there's blood on your hands, change. Now she let him speak at the start and all he has done is interrupt her. This hasn't done anything to help his cause or make me change my mind on plant-based diet. Hashtag this morning. Well, you know what, Louise? You abuse animals through your diet. How do you like that? Does it feel good to be a hypocrite? Does it feel good to abuse little baby animals that go get gas chambered and have their throats slashed open so you can eat their tortured bodies? How does that feel? Okay, you, I, I was rude to you. You don't want to try a plant-based diet? How does it feel to be an animal abuser through your, your lifestyle choices? That's, the, that's just the truth of it. That's just the truth of it. Um, I don't know who you are, shouty man on TV, when I switched it on, and now I see you're promoting plant-based eating. But this didn't mean to be so rude. Oh, really? Who's rude? Oh, am I rude, am I? I don't give a shit if you think that I am rude. Okay, what I give a shit about is this lady trying to justify meat eating to a million people, saying there's high welfare and saying I shoot deer and it's ethical. That is absolute nonsense. She revealed that she tried to give up meat in the past. Rachel said, I was actually a vegetarian when I was younger for six years. She's an absolute liar. She is a dishonest liar. Now, the interesting thing was, I was a vegetarian at this <laughs> point, but would happily eat mum's rabbit stew. So, I don't know if there's gonna be a name we can find to describe. She, she wasn't even a vegetarian. She used to eat her mum's hunted rabbit stew. Quote, you were never a vegetarian, so don't talk trash. It didn't work out for me for health reasons. I became quite anemic and quite poor. When, uh, I, I became really quite anemic. 
well, you know what? Maybe you should stop eating dairy. Apparently dairy inhibits iron absorption. So, you know, whatever, you weren't even a plant-based eater. You weren't even a vegan. So stop claiming you were even anything close to one. You weren't even a vegetarian. Uh, but she was interrupted by Joey who dismissed her claims, stating vegan diets can be healthy for all stages of life, including infancy, pregnancy, and adulthood. Exactly, I interrupted her. I'm not gonna sit there while we've only got seven minutes and listen to her nonsense trash talk. As the debate turned to how each diet impacts the environment, Rachel revealed that she was a chartered environmentalist and agreed with Joey about the importance of animal welfare. A chartered environmentalist. She doesn't even know animal agriculture is the number one cause of nearly every single um, environmental catastrophe facing the planet. She doesn't sound like an environmentalist. However, she angered Joey when she raised the point that the UK had high welfare standards when it came to animals. Damn straight I was angry because that's a load of shit. That is a load of nonsense. She said, we have really hardworking British farmers. Well, I don't give a shit if you're hardworking and you're exploiting and murdering animals. Try another job. Try hard working and growing potatoes or something. Leave the animals alone. The UK actually has some of the highest animal welfare standards in the world. That is an absolute fallacy and you should be shot down for speaking such absolute nonsense garbage on the television. When you look at what happens in UK farms and abattoirs, it's an absolute atrocity. It's, it's disgraceful. It makes me sick and want to vomit. She's either being dishonest or she, she's living in a fairy tale land. So yeah, this is nonsense, Joey declared. There be, there's been so many exposés. Yeah, we've all exposed what's going on in UK farms and abattoirs. It's no secret anymore. You have to be living under a rock if you don't know. However, his attitude did not win favor with the viewers. Uh, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm not trying to win favors. I'm trying to expose what is going on in animal agriculture. And hey, you're all accountable through your lifestyle choices. Now, this is just the Daily Mail's opinion. A lot of people have seeds planted from what happens here. Now, these articles spread out far and wide. Uh, the same thing happened two years ago, except there was a hundred articles and the Daily Mail and the Sun and this and more TV. And, you know, I was branded as rude and militant and, you know, farmers are scared and threatening farmers and all of this, right? Did that hold back veganism in the UK? Absolutely not. No, it didn't. It propelled it into the mainstream media. Important ethical animal rights topics were thrusted into the forefront of the mainstream media. Cows being raped in the dairy industry, uh, baby chicks being macerated in the egg industry, uh, pigs being gas chambered for pork. All of these issues were thrusted into the forefront of the mainstream, just like they were uh, on this morning. If, if becoming vegan means I become angry, then no way. Oh, so you want to stay abusing animals through your lifestyle? Okay, well, well is that my fault? Uh, you should be angry. If you're not angry, you don't care. You don't care. If, if you're not angry about this, you do not care. Simple. Um, so another person said, oh, something about, will I be as angry as Joey if I turn vegan? Well, I don't know. Does animals suffering in a gas chamber make you angry? If it doesn't, like I said, hashtag you don't care. Um, others criticised Joey for being unnecessarily rude to Rachel. Ah, oh, you know what? I criticised Rachel for shooting innocent deer in the heart. Um, you know what I mean? See how people like, oh, Joey was rude, but hey, she shoots animals. This is how, you know, ingrained murdering animals is in, and socially accepted it is. I'm chastised for being rude. She's heralded for shooting animals. Like, wow, what a, what a contradiction. Um, this society just participates in moral hypocrisy constantly. I don't know who you are shouting, who the shouty man is on TV. When I switched it on, da, 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 yeah, whatever. Uh, you don't need to be so rude. Uh, don't confuse passion with bad manners. Uh, okay, you know what? Um, that's fine. You grabbed a few tweets of people that are angry to support your bias against veganism against vegans. Um, Daily Mail, I've never seen do a pro-vegan um, article. Maybe they have, maybe they have. They've never done a pro-activist article, that's for sure. Wow, yikes, this poor woman, this vegan is extremely aggressive. Yikes, poor woman, have you seen this photo of her posing with the poor deer that she shot? Now, who's more aggressive? She's shooting deer. Yeah, I used to be a violent gang member. Used to. Yeah, I used to carry a gun. Used to. She's currently shooting innocent animals. Currently. I'm righting the wrongs of my past, okay? Now, what's she doing? She's promoting hunting. Here, let's go. Now, now, obviously, this is the sun's last year. How dare he? This morning viewers troll militant vegan after row with farmer over death threats. You know, they said the same thing. Aggressive, criticizing the, viewers are quick to criticize the aggressive behavior of the outspoken activist. Militant campaigner, mocked online with viewers joking it. I just took the steaks out of the fridge. So, you know, same thing happened last year. And here we go. Um, that just gave me an idea for dinner. I'm gonna get the steaks out of the fridge. Um, I thought that vegan was totally disgusting, very crude. At least this one is put, uh, I think he was passionate, not aggressive. You know, so I had the same shit. I've had this shit for years. I've had this for years. 
Now, here we go. This is the son, Vig Angry. Oh, Veg Angry. Veg Angry. Angry Vegan, okay? This morning, fans horrified by Angry Vegan as he shouts over meat eating guests live on TV. Now, you know, like, her voice was actually louder than mine, but she was just like really, she was really projecting her voice in a calm way, like, hey, rah, 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 rah. like, I could hear it. It was a lot light, louder than my voice, but she was just, you know, she wasn't letting me finish either, like, mind you. We were both trying to get in our, in our words. Um, so let's have a look here. Um, Eamon Holmes, 60, later defended. Okay, so here we go. This morning, fans were left horrified today when an angry vegan activist shouted over a meat-eating guest during a tense live debate. Presenter Eamon Holmes, 60, later defended Joey Armstrong against the backlash as he insisted, insisted that he actually made some very good points in the fire exchange. He, it's funny, he didn't say that about her. He didn't say that about her points. Uh, Joey was on this morning's sofa alongside meat lover and hunter, Rachel Carey, proud animal abuser. But fans at home were dismayed when he wouldn't let her speak. I'm not gonna let her spout nonsense about how UK has high welfare standards. It's absolute garbage. Um, while Rachel tried to make some points to defend her lifestyle, she's defending hunting. How? Disgraceful, you should be ashamed of yourself. Joey spoke over her as he shouted about facts and statistics that supported veganism. He also pointedly snapped that he's a vegan when she said she had previously been vegetarian for six years in a desperate bid to relate. No, she wasn't uh, trying to relate. What she was trying to do is like, I used to be vegetarian like Joey for six years, but I got sick because vegetarianism is bad. I'm not even a vegetarian, never have been a vegetarian, neither is she. So like, what the hell was all that about? So yeah, it was just a tactic she was using. She was very sneaky and sly in this. Shock fans took to Twitter to react to the moment with one writing, wow, that vegan guy is horrible, stressful to watch. What's that got to do with the topic at hand? You know what's stressful to watch? Pigs suffering in gas chambers. You know what's stressful to watch? Deer being hunted down by animal abusers. Another added they couldn't, they couldn't have brought on a worse person to argue the case for veganism. Oh really? Are you another you know, meat eater that's given activist advice for how to change society? You know, of course I'm not gonna make you feel comfortable. Didn't feel comfortable hearing me talk about gas chambers, did it? A third moaned, will somebody tell the vegan on this morning to shut up and let the meat eater have her say as well? You'd love that, wouldn't you? You'd love that, the meat eater telling you good things about your bad habits, uh, giving you justifications to continue to eat your pork sandwich with the poor body of an innocent pig in there. You'd love that, wouldn't you? Uh, clowns like this geezer give people who adopt a vegan diet a bad name. Hey Lauren, veganism's not a diet, it's a moral principle against the worst animal cruelty on earth that you participate in. Why do shows like this morning always pick people they know are going to get bad reception from the public? Not representatives of the vegan population and all it does is demon demonise them. You know, I'm demonising you if you're eating the tortured body of animals, okay? You don't like that, do you? Time to change. Ah, uh, here we go. This is a perfect example. This guy has not put vegan across well at all. I'll never convert regardless, but his argument was rubbish. You're never gonna convert anyway, okay? What I did is rattled the cage. I caused a disruption. Um, I wanna talk about disruption. I, I created media, okay? This is what uh, direct action uh, civil disobedience can do as well. Disruption, it causes media. People talk about animal rights, okay? I'm all for people being vegans, but this guy in this morning is a very angry, argumentative man. Okay, you'd be angry too if you're seeing innocent animals get stabbed in the throat constantly, eh? Um, you're gonna sit next to an animal abusing hunter? Unless you agree with what she does. Do you agree with what she does? Like, I'm not gonna sit there and agree with her. Um, whatever, rude, aggressive, I heard it all before, I've heard it last year, I've heard it for the whole time I've been an, an activist. Uh, whilst host Ruth and Eamon didn't contribute much to the debate, Eamon later jumped to Joey's defense when he saw the Twitter reaction. Speaking after the break, the presenter said, it's really got you talking, that last debate about veganism. Not everyone was impressed by Joey's passion, and I suppose you could say anger, beyond all of that, but I thought he was making a very good point. We have to reaffirm our connection between what we eat and how it is farmed. Um, yeah, yeah, quite simply, I don't care if you don't like me, is what I'm saying right, is what I'm saying correct. So this is the thing about this type of activism, like, you know, I don't always just wanna sit there. Like if you see uh, the next video I upload after this, it'll be my appearance on the Jeremy Vine show. It was chill, it was a lot more chill, okay? This was different, this was different. Seven minutes to get our points out, okay? Uh, it created media, it created media. I don't care if I'm branded as rude and aggressive. What I care about is here, Eamon saying, Maybe we should reaffirm our, con our connection to where our food comes from. And then here in the Daily Mail where they're saying, um, uh, I've been in slaughterhouses outside gas cham chambers where I've heard pigs screaming for their lives. 
high welfare standards is a fairy tale, it's nonsense, okay? This is the type of thing that I want in the media. Now, there's a lot of debate about, you know, oh, you know, Joey, you're making vegans look bad, or, or you're too aggressive, and, you know, I could have just sat there and let her finish what she wanted to say every single time she wanted to say it, and gave her four or five minutes, and, you know, let Eamon talk, and then had 30 seconds but I would not be able to live with myself if I didn't interrupt her nonsense. And bad publicity isn't necessarily bad. Do you know how many people have come to my page in the last three days? How many things I've posted about animal rights? They're going to find out the truth. There's been so much negative press about me. Most of the press, 90% of the press about me has been negative. Has that stopped people from going vegan? Has it held back the vegan movement in the UK? No, it's not, okay? This is called disruption. This is called getting the animal rights message out into the mainstream media. This is called creating discussion. Hate me all you want, all right? You weren't gonna go vegan anyway. The people who do care about animals, who do, care, uh, do have a sense of responsibility and accountability will say, oh wow, I don't wanna be a part of that anymore. That guy was quite aggressive. Maybe he was rude, but at least what he's saying is true, okay? So that's my video, that's my response to these uh, stupid tabloids. No one really takes the Daily Mail seriously anyway, or The Sun. They're not a media outlet, outlet like a credible media outlet like The Guardian or something like that. They're just, they're just looking for, you know, the next sensationalized title uh, to get clicks. This, this confrontation stuff gets clicks and they get advertising revenue from going on their pages. So yeah, that was my, that's my response to the media. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, now, if anyone wants to criticize my activism, how, here's, a, here's some advice for you. Take your own advice and go out there and do it yourself. Build your platform, okay? Day in, day out, work hard for the animals and advocate how you wanna advocate, okay? Do that. Don't tell me how to defend animals, okay? Because I'm gonna defend them how I think I should. Thank you all for those who support me. If you don't, I don't care. If you're not vegan, stop being a hypocrite, go vegan. There's links down below you can follow. I'll leave the link down below to the full debate. Leave your comments on there if you like. Thank you all. I'll speak to you all soon. Peace.